Yo, 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 what is up guys? My name is Rhino and we are back for another Halloween video because we've got another brand new skin in the item shop. Yes, we have got the Skeletara skin, the Skeleton Renegade Raider. Yes, this is a mix between Renegade Raider and Skull Trooper, which is really cool. I mean, I'm not the craziest fan of Renegade Raider. I've liked some of her reskins. Um, and I'm not the biggest fan of Skull Trooper or Skull Ranger, as you guys might know. But this one, I actually really like, because unlike on Skull Ranger, where it just looks like she's doing one single piece and almost looks naked, and got the hair sticking out so much, and the way it's painted just looks very plain and boring and ugly, um, and Skull Trooper just very generic. This one, she's actually got the detail of Renegade Raider, the same clothing. I love the way the, uh, they got the, um, the glowing outlines on her, uh, chest plate. Um, she's still got some skin showing and some glowing bones painted, so I actually really like this. And it's still got the helmet as well. And it actually looks scary, but in a good way. I actually like this version a lot. Um, and we got the back bling sockets, which is, this is a sick back bling. It's kind of like Mystique's back bling, only it's a bit of a different shape. Looks like a more realistic and scarier looking skull. And of course, it's got the blue glow and flames. I think that's a really cool back bling. And of course, we're going to be doing combos that. And we got the axe ray. Sounds pretty good, and it's kind of ghostly. It's not bad. We've been already getting some really good Halloween skins, and we're only just getting started. I can't believe this, because we did do a combos video of um, Frankenstein and Curdle Scream Leah. Check those out if you haven't. So now it's time to do combos for Skeletara, and if you want to buy this skin or anything in the shop as we're getting close to Halloween, make sure you use code RhinoGamingYT. You do not have to, but make sure you're using somebody, please. Okay, so we're going to cop the skin. We are going to equip it, and equip the back bling, of course, and we are going to find the combos, so we will be right back. Okay, so we have found combos for Skeletara and her back bling. It was fun finding combos for the back bling, and it goes with a lot. The skin, however, was a little bit of a different story. Because of the colour of the skeleton, it's like a neon green. It is a little bit hard sometimes to find the green seed. That's not the right green. It's like a... It's not quite the same blue that's on um, Skull Trooper. Um, but at the same time, it's not the same kind of green on that style. So it might be a bit difficult. But there were still quite a few good ones I found. You could do stuff with this back bling. Um, and I still think it's a pretty cool skin for what it is, you know. It's, um, it's clean, it's scary, it's still got the detail that Renegade Raider has. I just chose this one because it's quite similar to her original back bling. Um, if we go to this one, choose the colour. That one actually looks really good, so some kind of turquoise. Um, so yeah, it might be a bit difficult for others, it might not be for some, or if you wanted to find a combo like that kind of like purpley skin, I attempted to do that as well, but that was also a bit difficult. See, if you look, it's not quite the same green as on the Ghost Portal, it still looks good on it, um, but at the same time, it's not the same kind of blue, it's sort of in between those two, so it's a bit interesting. Um, Shining Star looks great though. So yeah, there are still quite a few great combos here. This style looks good too. Um, it's just, um, it's not going to be as easy as something like Skull Trooper. Especially because Skull Trooper has that black and white style, which if you want to stretch a bit of orange, you can. Which pretty much goes on everything, as you guys might know. But still, there are some combos with this, and I do still think it's a really cool skin. Um, the glow style of this actually looks quite good. It's almost there, and it's because, like, almost the shape of a skull. That's actually a pretty cool combo. So, yeah, there are some good combos here, some fun combos, some spooky combos as well. Um, if we go this turquoise with some black, that does look pretty good. Just use the colours for that. Spectral Spine, it's not quite the same, but because of the skeletal thing back bling, it obviously makes sense. This is what it comes with. And the Shattered Wing. Alright, so now the sockets. This one goes well in quite a bit. So, this one was a lot easier to find combos with. It goes like... A very bright light blue with the flames and the color the, the flames reflecting off the skull it's a really cool back lane. it's simple but scary spooky and quite small and compact so it's a really good back bling to wear if you're a person who doesn't like wearing big back blings or even if you don't really like wearing that many back blings at all this is one that you could very much use because it doesn't get in the way it's not anything like that like you're an idiot if you don't you, unless you genuinely don't like this back bling if you're a person who um, just doesn't wear back flings on the battlefield because you're a sweat who only uses a female skin and star wand and you refuse to use even a small, compact and cool back bling like this, then you're an idiot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so yeah, there's quite a bit. Obviously, some of these combos, it won't look as good at night 
and some it will look better at night, like this one, because he's got the glowing horns. This will go really well with him at night. That's a really cool combo there. Um, but there are others where in the daytime it'll look good with the light blue, but won't look as good in the nighttime because you've got the back, back bling that'll glow. And something like this where this back bling goes really well with the hair, but because the hair doesn't glow, it won't look as good at night. But she's also got the skull on her head, so I think that's a good combo too. Um, tuna fish on the tune styles, yeah, you could. You very much could. Skull Trooper, default style because he's got the blue coming out of his eyes. It's not quite the same blue as I said, but it's nearly there. It's nearly there, but I still wish we had an option to remove that blue glow from his eyes. I really do. Um, goes pretty well with the blue green flames on Hollow Head. Uh, Zig, default style looks okay. So yeah, there is quite a bit to wear this backling on. It's a very fun backling, very cool backling. So far, they've been nailing it with these Halloween backlings, and even the skins, even though we're so early into it, like this backling along with that backling got for the curl team leader is a really cool backling and that floating island backling for geometric is also a really cool backling so yeah we've just they've already been giving us such great cosmetics and we probably don't even need them um like they've continued topping in terms of cosmetics in my opinion they've kept on topping year after year after year so are they gonna once again top last year with these i don't know complex because she glows that'll look really good and the other style yeah i think the other one's better all right so that's pretty much gonna wrap up combos for this skin and wrap up this video. So if you guys enjoyed, let me know a like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think of this skin. Do you love it? Do you hate it? How would you compare it to the other Halloween skins? How would you compare it to the other Skull Troopers? How would you compare it to the other Renegade Raiders? Let me know. But until then guys, I will catch you in the next video. Take care, Bye bye